Okay, good day everybody. Mike here. Got a little bit of a range report from the bench on shotgunning. I was at the range probably about, uh, I guess, a month ago when I did all this and I just haven't gotten around to doing the video yet, so I thought I'd get this done. I had two shotguns with me that day at the range. This is my little Turkish 14-inch uh, barrel single shot. It has interchangeable chokes, which including a rifled shotgun uh, slug choke that I wanted to test, but once the testing got going, I was having so much fun, I forgot all about the chokes, so I never got to test them. So, cylinder choke installed, and it's a pretty light gun. It's part of my primary survival gun collection. Um, little two-shot belt clip ammo holder and uh, that was the one shotgun I, uh, I used and the second one which I don't have with me on the bench was a Remington 870 tactical with a 20 inch smooth bore slug and buckshot barrel I'll try and put a picture in somewhere if I can remember to. Anyway, we did uh, we did a bunch of uh, hobo loads, as Uncle Jim likes to call them. Um, I think I shot, you know, about 40 shots that day, and. Uh, Part of the reason I was having so much fun was because there was really very little recoil to worry about. And uh, so I used uh, some off the shelf target ammo. These were one ounce loads and these were one and one eighth ounce loads. And uh, I was uh, shooting the uh, Lee seven eighths ounce cast, home cast by me, uh, soft lead uh, slugs, and uh, I was swapping them out in the, uh, the one ounce. So I was swapping just a little bit less payload than what the shell was originally rated for. And uh, then I also swapped out the uh, one and one eighth inch loads for the 69 cal round ball. Um, which also works out just a little bit less than one and one eighth ounce. So those loads, I mean, they worked really great. Um, I mean, you know, the guy who invented shotgun shells probably that very morning didn't realize that by noon that same day, him and his staff would probably have a whole manual on, uh, different loads you could put in these things. The only tricky thing is disassembling the factory load without damaging it too badly. And thanks to uh, 314299 shooting channel for his little trick that I'm sure lots of you guys already know. Anyway, it just involved uh, using a, you know, like a wood screw and screwing it you know into the shell just just ever so much that you could grab it with some pliers and slowly pull it back out and that kind of broke the seal and allowed the crimp to start unfolding a lot easier and then dumping the bird shot out and when i did the round ball the ball ended up sitting just a little bit low so i also loaded some with a card underneath the uh, round ball. However, those ones ended up sitting just a little bit too high and the crimp continually wanted to pop back open again, which was no big deal because I could shoot them out of my single shot. With the uh, 7 8 ounce Lee slugs, uh, they just dropped right in and they ended up being almost the perfect height as it was, you know, cast. Um, no extra cards or anything and the shell closed up nicely and they all looked you know what I mean I have a mech 600 to do the crimping so that's not really an issue 
anyway, uh, let me get some of these things out of the way. Um, show you the targets. I'm really happy with this load. I mean, man, this is one way to really, you do save money by reloading. You know, if you've had to buy buckshot or slugs lately, you know how, how expensive they really are. Now, I, I had... This was round balls with the spacer. Round ball without the spacer. These ones were 7 8 ounce Lee slugs. Um, this one, these were experimental six pellet buckshot. Two thirty-three cal, two thirty-one cal, and two more thirty-three cal for a total of two pellets on three layers. Those were the first ones I shot, and that's way below normal payload weight, but they shot really good. Now, they're not legal for hunting because where I live, you have to have a minimum of eight pellets, no smaller than 30 caliber to hunt with. Big game, anyway. So these ones were nine pellet, 31 cal buckshot loads, and that's because I have a container full of uh, 312 caliber uh, buckshot. And these were three layers of three and they're legal for hunting and they worked really good as well i'm totally stoked with this project this was put the fun back in shotgunning again um, and then these ones were all nine pellet three by three uh, loads with the 31 cal buckshot i gotta buy myself a 31 cal buckshot mold it's just really such a good choice Anyway, um, okay, this was 25 yards off the bench, shooting my short-barreled shotgun with the red dot, and I was shooting the 7 8 ounce Lee slugs, um, just the plain lead ones, not the powder coated. These are the new ones I just made, and. Uh, you can see I got two shots an inch apart, a little over an inch apart. And I was totally stoked to get that. that that's just mind-blowingly good for me. So that's a win. This was 25 yards, five shots with the 7 8 ounce Lee Slug off the bench out of my Remington 870 with the 20 inch smooth bore buckshot slug barrel using uh, iron sights. I was aiming here and this was the first time I had shot that shotgun. So I had no adjustments made to anything but uh, to get five shots, you know, right there you know, that's not rifle accuracy by any means, but as a camp gun or predator defense or something like that, uh, this one shows good potential as well. Really happy with that. And then uh, the final target that I have here, I was aiming at this dot and I took five shots with the single shot shotgun with the 69 cal round ball from 25 yards and I got three hits here and I'm sure I got uh, sorry three hits here and two more hits right here I mean they all I mean every shot that day felt really good and 40 shots out of a shotgun for me in one day is way more than I'm normally uh, interested in shooting now the buckshot patterning was five shots, nine pellet, 31 cal, stacked three by three, hobo loaded into the uh, 
Winchester target shells and these were shot relatively rapid fire um, you know for me anyway I wasn't attempting uh, any records but I wasn't wasting any time either offhand from 25 yards with iron sights and I counted 39 out of a possible 45 hits all right here so that's a gigantic win there as well so if you really want to reap some advantages from your initial casting adventure and you know go look at the price of shotgun buckshot and slugs and you'll understand why this is very <laughs> exciting um, so I've tried the uh, 7 8 ounce the 69s they're both winners for sure and now I have the one ounce Lee mold as well and powder coated and more of the other stuff to test so this was an overall win for me and shotgunning in general for me because uh, up until now I had not really enjoyed you know, shotgun shooting that much. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day everybody. Mike out.